Hey GPT-3ers, today I'm going to show you why Bing, or Sydney, is not as useless after her nerf as you may think for content creation. With this little hack, you'll be creating oh, probably the best content on the block. So get ready. Before we start, I would like to preface that I do not condone ripping off other people's content. Uh, this is purely for educational purpose. Do as you may. Anyway, on we go. So to get started, for this technique to work, we're going to need two prompts, which I wrote. Uh, one is the instruction and one is the action. The way this works is there is obviously a character limit for the content that we put into ChatGPT. So what this does is it circumnavigates the restrictions uh, that we currently have in place. It essentially allows us to load a load of up-to-date, useful information into ChatGPT's memory, and then we're kind of sort of going to source from that from our article. On top of that, we're going to use Bing or Sydney. Uh, she's going to help us to get additional information and tell us about the structure of our content to improve the quality of the output. So let's head back to Bing and let's tell her what we want to do. I am writing an article about the ethics of if it becomes sentient. Okay, uh, that seems like a good start. Uh, please list. Educational. So with these areas that we should be covering within the article, she also kindly links back to the sources, which will very much come in handy shortly. Now, if we just take these and paste them over here in areas to cover. Let's get rid of the numbers. Actually, let's go through this. Uh, so based on your knowledge and article, so I am writing a, a blog post written in the tone of let's do business insider. I always like their stuff. Written by Prompt Muse, target demographic, oh, let's do 30 to uh, 20 to 40 year old male tech lovers okay then the primary topic is AI ethics if it becomes sentient secondary topic do we have one how AI can and may help us Focus keyword would be AI ethics. And then it's going to create cluster keywords around this, if I spelled it right, um, and then pepper that within the article. All right, so that looks like it's pretty much done. This should be. Okay, that looks good. So now what we do is we take the instruction move it over here paste that in and hit enter okay so now we go back to bing and let's open our first article okay quickly copied that <laughs> So let's take that in and paste. Okay. Now I want the URL for this. So let's do URL. And let's take the URL and paste that in. And we can hit enter. There's number one. I think you know where this is going now, don't you? Close it down. So there's a lot of tab clicking going on here, isn't there? So let's do the next one. That's a LinkedIn. Take that. 
and simply just paste that in. Okay, if it does do this and it kind of forgets to do the receive thing, just stop the generation. Edit the last one. And we can say, did you receive this? And submit. And then it will just give you a short blurb rather than writing an essay on it. Right, then head back up to here. Now we want our action that we just filled out. So I'll share this sheet within the description. So just give it a ping and you can help yourself. Oh, by the way, uh, you may have noticed I said continue from, and then I did copy and paste the last paragraph. Unlike Bing, which is very good at continuing, uh, ChatGPT and GPT-3, uh, doesn't always follow so well and so quite often it will just if you do continue it will just start a new story so this is a little trick to get around that awesome and there we have it there is your article which is sourced from three or four or however amount other articles so anyway this is a very quick one for tonight just want to show you these uh, interesting prompts and uh, take care alex out